It was on, it was regular price, $450. Wow. $450, and it was on sale. I paid $29 for this jacket. That is so cool. Yeah, oh. and I'm, I'm, I'm t I tell everybody, yeah, I got a $450 jacket. <laughs> I'm telling them I paid $29 for it because I like it. And being here in Texas, the burnt orange just fits. Oh, it does fit, huh? Yeah, it just fits because everybody's either wearing maroon, which is one of my favorite colors, and or either burnt orange, which is, you know, another color that I just kind of like. It just fits. Yeah. What? Well, well, tell me something. Mm -hmm. I, I, um, you're the star of Cooking with Chef Dad, the Cooking with Chef Dad show. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'd like to know, first tell us a little bit about who you are. Okay, alright. Yeah, and it, it's, it's, it's interesting to use that word star. That's that's one of those words that you know it's like it's it's interesting to hear it because I've come from a long way. There's something that my mother would always tell me and would and still tells people to this day. She'd always tell folks there's something special about him. There's something special about Mike. And you know, I've never lost that. And my grandfather, as I shared in uh, in the first episode, he's the one that inspired me to cook. I, I, and when he said, you know, you need to know how to wash your own clothes, clean your own house, and cook your own food, I uh, didn't realize that he was actually giving me my first lesson in survival. Because everything, all of those things, they come from within. You know, you cook your own food, it's for you to eat it. You cook it, you eat it. You know, you wash your own clothes, you clean your own house, you take care of you because that's how you survive. And I never... Uh, forgot that and that really does kind of guide me you know I love watching my grandparents in the kitchen because it was just that joy that happiness that soul that you know I wanted that you know I did I wanted that my dad I learned how to how to put soul in everything because my dad was a master musician fanatic oh my goodness he was he knew good music and that's where I get that ear from but he would, he, you know, taught me how to put that soul into everything that I do. And that's why it's so good when the food comes out because I know how to put that extra ingredient in there. You know, it's, it's you know, one of those things that James Brown said, I got something that tells me what it's all about. I got soul. And that's what I put into it, you know. I love, I love to be able to cook. And being in the military going you know joined the, joined the National Guard when I was really young I joined the National Guard when I was 17 one of the first uh, missions that we went on tours if you will that we went on uh, was to Alexandria Egypt now this was the first time that I had been on a plane and this was the first time that I had ever been out of the country and they put my 19 year old self on a plane and flew me all the way to Alexandria Egypt and said hey now you're an adult and that, I had to grow up fast. I, you know, bumps and bruises, you know, as every veteran of the Navy can testify to. You have your bumps and your bruises, your good days, your bad days. And I had that in both the Army and the Navy. I've had the opportunity to stand before some really prestigious people, some really high level in, and influential people. And I want to share that now with my family. Because it's easy to prepare for the crowd outside. My toughest challenge was being able to talk to my sons and to my daughter and to my wife and to my family because they weren't in the military so they didn't understand the lingo. They didn't understand the, the attitude, the bravado that every warrior understands. Because certain times you just have to get the job done. The orders don't necessarily come pleasantly, but the orders come. Sometimes the orders come and we all have a great time, but they didn't get that and it was really kind of brass. So being able to cook made me a student again. And I had to actually learn how the same way I would prepare to talk to the Admiral, the same way I would prepare to stand before, you know, members of parliament in um, England. I prepare to have a conversation with my family. And I do it through cooking because we all have to sit down. I remember watching my grandparents, watching my parents do that, and that's where I gained that inspiration from. So now, 
we have something to talk about and it's cooking and I'm giving them that skill. Cook your own food, wash your own clothes, clean your own house. Can I ask you, uh, I'd like to ask you, how do you want your show to benefit other veterans? I want other veterans to realize and recognize that everything that we learned and took away from the military, all you have to do is redirect the energy and become mom again, become dad again. And it's a transition that I had to make to go from petty officer Bogans to chef dad. You know, I could be chef Mike, chef Bogans. No, no, no. The most important title is chef dad. I snuck it in on you last time. <laughs> so now you snuck it in on yeah, me. So it's all good. It's all right. Go ahead. So no, I was talking to a friend of mine. Hold on. Sorry. No, that's see, that's what happens, and to keep that, keep that. No, keep it okay. going. Hello. Oh. Call from. Hello. You are. No. Okay. See, and it's those things like that. Even, even, and I want you to keep that in because even as we learned in the military, everything does not always go according to scripts. Sometimes you have to learn how to adapt and overcome. And it's not everything that's got to be so picture perfect. It doesn't have to be so pristine. And that's the beauty of cooking. Especially when you're cooking with your family. It's, it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be on the, the, the most expensive china. What, what it has to be, it has to be the most expensive heart that you can put into it. The most expensive soul that you can put into it. And that's what the family remembers. That's why it's Chef Dad. And that's what... Vets need to understand, and that's what I want folks to understand from my show. It's about being dad. It's about saying, hey, it's a way to eat healthy. Let's spend some time at the stove. Let me show you in five minutes how you can eat healthy, and we can talk about it. How was your day at school? We have a platform to now talk, and we have dinner because I like to eat. You like to eat. Let's sit down. Let's eat. Let's talk. That's what I did with my grandparents. That's what I do with my parents. That's how I learned everything. So those techniques, doing everything, paying attention to detail, it translates from the military to cooking. You take a recipe and you have to do the same thing that you would uh, in any SOP. You go through it, you learn it, you know it, you execute it. And that's the same thing with cooking. That's why it's a seamless transition for me. It is a seamless transition. That's great. Um, and I love the whole aspect you talk about with the, uh, with the family. Now, uh, I, w I was talking to you earlier about my nutritional intake when I first came. <laughs> I could have been named the Ding Dong Man. So there are, you know, could you talk to us a little bit about the nutritional benefits of preparing your own food? Absolutely. You know, with, with as much that is in the news about where um, the state of our food is, you know, there are arguments on both sides of the coins, and I, I won't get into that, you know, because that's a, a political argument that each person is, you know, capable of making their own decision. But you should know everything that you're eating. You should know everything that you're consuming to be as healthy as possible. I know when I first started running my PT test, I could not run my two miles if I didn't take care of my body, you know. If I was out with the fellas and I was smoking a cigarette before the PT test, I knew I wasn't going to do well. It's about taking care of your body. It's the same way with food. You get in the kitchen and you prepare your own foods. You know what's in there. You know it. You don't have to worry about a lot of processed foods. You can choose if you choose to eat organic, if you choose to eat gluten free. It's you making your own choice. You being in charge of your own meal and teaching your children and your family how to just Think about it yourself. Take care of yourself because if you take care of yourself now, as you get older, your body will take care of you and you won't feel like a lot of vets do. You won't feel that ache, that pain, and, and that, oh, I shouldn't have ate that or, oh, I shouldn't have ran that fast. You won't feel those pains when you take care of your own body. And you can do that through the power of food. I have truly, truly discovered that. Now, are there any last words, anything, any profundities, anything profound <laughs> that you would like to say to your viewing public, to your audience? Well, Cooking with Chef Dad is my way of telling my story to my family. 
a lot of years went by and I never really understood the role that my grandparents played uh, during their military careers, both my grandfathers uh, in their military careers, my father and his. Never had the chance to sit down and actually listen to their stories. And I want to pass that on to my children, to my friends, to my family. And this is a way to actually sit down and actually deal with a lot of the ups, the downs, the ton of wars, the ton of tragedies that we all have gone through in the military. And it's a way to sit down, process it all in my own head, and translate it to a story that my family can understand and they can understand who it is they call Chef Dad. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, we're going to enjoy your show. Um, and I know you're going to bring a lot of good eating to a lot of people. Oh, yes. We're going in a number of good directions. So hold on for the ride. It will be a very fun.